Hi well, everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the all-new All-CT12 from Way of Wade. So let's go. This is the 12th edition of the All-CT line from Way of Wade and it is the actually one step lower tear down from the main signature line which is the WoW 10 currently but the All City is now running until the 12 and I just recently had uh, All City 11 V2 so I was quite surprised that the All City 12 came out already that soon but of course I'm ecstatic for that because I like 12s better than 11 and I'll let you know why Starting off with the upper of the All CT12, it is a different upper compared to the 11s. The first edition or the V1 of the All CT11 has like a very similar, but this one is way softer compared to the V1. But on the V2 All CT11, change it up into a more fused upper, which is ain't that shabby too, but on the touch when you're wearing it you will feel that the all city 12's upper the mesh upper is a little bit more comfy around your foot this one has a lot of fusing but they still are great there's a ton of support for the upper and durability for the upper is nice but i kind of like how they use the materials here on the 12's compared to the 11 v2s a bit more and the design language is cleaner in my personal taste compared to the v2 which has a more futuristic look so it really depends on your taste but me i would prefer how the all ct12 looks compared to the 11s and as for the tip of the upper of the ac12 it features a different kind of textile which is a little bit thicker around the toe area and on the announcement colorway it really shows the color or the definition of this toe area because it has a very high contrast from white to black but this one is the sunshine state colorway which is of course miami and you can see the upper here is more durable on the tip of the toe comparing to a softer textile around the midfoot going to the back part of the sneaker and the first time that I wore them they felt really comfortable around my toes so really good and no breaking time needed for the upper of the AC12 and moving to the midfoot part on the lacing system is where I like that they added some support here on the medial side if you can see this gray area here so it's a strap that goes around to this two lace loop so when you're cranking it up it pulls your foot down to the foot bed a little bit more like very similar to the other sneakers that I really like like the Ja, like the PGs which has some straps here in the forefoot so when you're pulling down your laces you will feel more secure especially around the midfoot of the sneaker plus of course the other thing that helps out in the lateral support is of course the logo you can find here this is made out of plastic this ring with the Way of Way logo here and I think they, they made it really clean how the logo looked on the lateral side without giving too much um, distraction on the logo on the sneaker it looks very clean on how they put or implemented the logo on the lateral side and moving on to the heel part there's a different material here it's not suede but it's a little bit rougher but it has more texture and it says Sunshine City or Sunshine State rather here and there's a pull tab at the back on the medial side you can see more of the screen mesh and it's very soft and there's a window there so ventilation on the all cd12 is also very nice like the first edition and even the v2 of the ac11 you can see there's a lot of windows there and the padding around the tongue is uh, comfortable too especially at the tip of the tongue which is a lot thicker compared to the edge of the tongue but no abrasions there very comfortable and another nice touch is they really put this up if you can see the heel pillows that goes up 
compared to the 11s and it's kind of pushing inward so you feel really locked down and secure around your ankle and it didn't have any problems there heel containment lockdown was very nice on the ac12 it's one of the things that i like about the ac12 is the lockdown the fit of the upper on the 12 feels a bit nicer on around my foot i have a regular foot because i think uh it's more on the shape it's a little bit wider compared to the the ac11 especially around the version one of the ac 11s the ac11 v1 has a very narrow midfoot but on the 12s they kind of adjusted the fit around the midfoot and it feels nicer it's not too cramping around the midfoot of the ac12 which feels nicer around my foot and i think if you're a wide footer you will appreciate that too a bit more because it's not as snug as the ones on the AC11. Moving to the insole, it has a very similar insole to the 11s too. But what's nice about, of course, the AC11-12 is they are using screen mesh like the WOW 10s. You can see that upper carbon fiber stability plate, which is a dual stability plate on the AC12. It has a top loaded stability plate and one on the bottom which is this yellow part so you can see it picking out through the outsole so it's a two layer torsional support system that gives you spring back and a ton of support when your core is running down up and down the floor it gives you better recoil and of course when you're doing step backs it doesn't twist the shoe that much and it gives a spring back even on the twist of your foot so that's what's nice about a dual torsional support system that is found on the ac12 and of course the screen mesh has a full window of the cushion of the ac12 and the step in comfort is really nice it's a full length boom cushion like the ac11 but one thing that i noticed i actually wore them side by side and the full length boom cushion on the 12s is a little bit thicker compared to the 11s it feels thicker so if you want more cushion more boom below your foot you would like the 12 more but if you want a lower to the ground feel the 11s will be for you but it's nothing that it's too high it's not too high off the ground it's still for me it's the right amount of boom and speaking through this middle side of the shoe you see this is a boom cushion that is found in the entire footbed and there's some more cushion here or window of the cushion on the heel you can press and even around the forefoot and which is of course that goes up here too for extra lateral support that's part of the outsole and like i said boom cushion is one of my favorite foam compound out in the market right now and they felt good on the wow 10 and even on the ac line especially on the 12 i think the thickness of the boom cushion here is quite similar to the 10s which is a lot thicker compared to the 11s i think in the 11s they kind of trimmed it down then maybe they brought it back on the 12s on the thickness of the boom cushion now as for the outsole you can see the 11s has this more wavy type of traction on the 12s on the the herringbone part is more on the ac 12 logo here as for the traction i kind of prefer the traction on the 11s a bit more because on the 12s sometimes on a dusty floor it picks up a bit more dust compared to the 11s so I have to wipe more on the 12s, but I will just continue to play with this a bit more. Let's see if they will still break in a bit, but on a dusty floor, um, it was picking up some dust, but on a very clean court, no problem at all. And for outdoor use, I think this will be okay for outdoor use because the rubber traction is kind of thick. So I think outdoor use for the shoe is okay, especially that the boom cushion is a lot thicker compared to the 11s. 
and there's a lot of ventilation so on the upper of the sneaker so outdoor use of the AC12 I think will be all right and look at the shape of it there's a nice curve on the heel and of course there's a little bit more curve in the forefoot for a better heel to toe transition and there's also traction here on the medial side there's ripples here so when you're doing crossovers there's a bit more traction there and the base which I love on the AC line is it is wide in the forefoot and even on the heel comparing it with the base of the 11s so the 11s are wider by just a bit on the forefoot it's wider by a bit protruding a bit here and maybe a centimeter or two but on the heel you would see the 12s a bit more wider so it's wider on the heel on the 12 compared to the 11 but on the forefoot the 11 is a bit wider so that's quite interesting and like i said the traction on the 12s is higher here there's more traction you're doing drastic crossovers you need traction there but on the 11s it's up to here only and it doesn't go and not as high as the 12s and as for sizing of the AC, I'm a regular footer. I went true to size, which is a US 11 for me. So if you're a wide footer, maybe go half a size up. And I think wide footer, you'll be okay with the 12s because it's a bit wider or wide foot friendly around the midfoot of the sneaker. And as for the weight of the AC 12 for US 11, it's 399. So lower than 400 grams it's light for a us 11 and it feels light on hand and if you're comparing it to the 11s the 11s let me check how heavy the 11s are so the 11s is heavier by 50 grams so i think it's mainly because of this extra design here on the heel which is made out of rubber which makes the sneaker a bit heavier and what else? I think the there's because there's a window here, so there's lesser rubber on the 12s compared to the 11s. So that made the 12s a bit, or the 11s more or more heavier. And there's there's a lot of extra plastic piece design on the 11s. You can see also this bar here. So that made the 11s heavier than 12 even though the 12s boom cushion is a little bit thicker so i think they upgraded in terms of the weight and of course the cushion i love it more on the 12s the traction i like the 11s a bit more compared to 12 but the fit of the sneaker i like the 12s more so let me know what you think about the ac12 hit me a comment down below Hope I help you guys out. This has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Peace.